What kind of season lies ahead, do you think, for Vieira? Well, I think it's a fascinating one because he's going to try and change the dynamic a little bit, and rightly so, to try and get them a bit more on the front foot and get the fans off the seats a bit more. He was becoming a little bit one-dimensional under Roy, even though they were safe. Um, some good signings, two centre-halves. Uh, they've got the lad on loan from Chelsea, the midfielder, Callagher. Mm. Um, so I expect a couple more to come in. A big turnaround in personnel. But it's one of those I'm fascinated to see. It could go either way, really, but I, th I think it was time for Palace to try and change the dynamic a little bit of what the fan... I, I, Simon knows more than me because he's got more Palace. Are you having Vieira? You had your reservations? I think, I, listen, I have reservations because it's yeah. a change of the model and the model that they've made Work. has been ultimately successful. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, Roy Hodgson, Tony Pulis, Sam Allardyce... But am I right um, to suggest the fans were getting a little bit... Well, I think look, at times last Palace season. fans are great fans and they and they want to see a brand of football that isn't just about staying in the Premier League. They want to see some attacking football because they know they've got some prowess out there. Um, and with the boy that's injured, Eze, and obviously with the, the stalwart that is Wilfred Zaha, they believe they've got that now. They've got rid of some of the dead wood like Andrews Townsend um, and moved him on to Everton. Cheers, um, Andros. <laughs> <laughs> um, but look, I think it's a really interesting one because I think, like Danny says, it will go one. Or, I think it will go one way or the other. I don't think it will be a flat line. I think it will be successful or unsuccessful and I and I don't know I don't know because if mm. you look at Patrick's stature and the way that people talk about him and the articles that are written about him he's a student he studies he looks at all the different coaches he's a plagiarizer and thinks about all the different things but he's his own man but then look at his track record and say they don't pull up any trees with Nice difficult club to manage not, not, don't really care what happens in the MLS because really that's a little bit of a backwater mm. sort of football yeah so it's a real risk for Palace and one that will either pay off in dividends or get them relegated. I, 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 I actually think they'll, that, they'll that was going right. to be sitting in the fence. Yeah, I do Simon. too. I, do. I actually I think, think they'll, they'll be three worst moving. teams yeah. in Palace. I still think they've got some quality. Okay. Um, but you won't judge, night, won't judge anything against Chelsea. That, well, no. That, that. Bre Brentford Arsenal kicks it off on Friday night. It's going to be tough for Brentford life. Yeah, of course it's going to be tough. Yeah. A lot of those players have never played at this level before, but what you will see is a really competitive, good football inside, try and play the right way, mm. which could ultimately be the downfall. Because sometimes when you try and play good football as a team coming up, as Fulham well, showed... Well, Swansea. It did. For a few years. Yeah, yeah. And, it did and it at 12.30 well. Saturday, Manchester United, Leeds United, that's live and talk sport. Who will have the better season, Simon? Out of Man U and Leeds. You see, I've got a feeling about Leeds. I think Leeds surprise a lot of people. More higher than Man U? I'm not saying they'll finish, no. they'll finish higher than Man U, but I think they could have a cracking season. What does a cracking United. season look like then? A cracking season, I think, means Europe. It could mean it could lead to Europe. I think if Leeds do better than they did last season, that's, I think that's done well. remarkable. Yeah. yeah, remarkable. Yeah, I just think they are. There's excitement in that part of the world. Bielsa has brought them a lot and he's got more to bring. But uh, people know a lot more about Leeds than they yeah, did a year before. Yeah, and yeah. what happens in the Premier League is you do get worked out. You do, yeah. And you get worked out. And teams like Swansea that came up that caused people a bit of a surprise and then people start to work them out. Mm. And whilst Bielsa brings Sheffield something United. unique, Sheffield United, classic case in point, you need to have a bit more than one trick in the Premier League. And now I'm not suggesting that Leeds aren't compelling viewing and aren't a great side to watch. But to suggest that they will be in Europe this year, we need to see a few other teams have a very average season for Leeds to probably occupy that I don't six. think they'll get in Europe but I certainly don't think they'll be in a relegation no I don't think they will either no. Sunday 2 o'clock Newcastle West Ham and then 4.30 the Kane Derby interesting Tottenham Man City looking forward to it yeah it's a shame I always think it's a shame that the um, start of the season these days it used to be so exciting because you're seeing all these new players and these new teams that have been put together and now we don't see that till September we see makeshift teams don't we while the, the transfers are being done and hmm. players are coming back late and all, so the opening couple of weeks has become less exciting for me. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.